Centre for Eye Research Australia's Genetic Engineering Unit is advancing next-generation gene therapy. Regular eye injections are a fact of life for many Australians living with eye diseases, like diabetic retinopathy and age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. One in 20 Australians lives with diabetes. One in three people with diabetes experiences some signs of a sight-threatening complication known as diabetic retinopathy. One in seven Australians over 50 show the early signs of AMD. In its late stages, wet AMD is a leading cause of vision loss. Regular eye injections are the current treatment for both wet AMD and diabetic retinopathy. The treatment helps to prevent the leakage of blood vessels and deters the growth of new leaky vessels in the retina. Injections need to be performed regularly by a doctor. They are one of the costliest drugs to the health system because of their wide use and repeated dosing. Next generation gene therapies have the potential to transform the treatment of eye diseases, paving the way for simpler, longer lasting and more effective treatments. CIRA's Genetic Engineering Unit is investigating new gene therapies for eye diseases that can alleviate the need for frequent injections. Switchable gene therapy is a cutting edge form of gene therapy. We are using this technology to stop blood vessels leaking and deter the growth of new leaky vessels in the retina. A safe, specially engineered virus is used to deliver the therapeutic gene into retinal cells at the back of the eye. The therapeutic gene can then be switched on and off with a simple eye drop. This is less invasive and easier to sustain. It removes the need for repeated eye injections, reducing the burden to the patients and health system. Our research also focuses on innovative therapies for other eye diseases that currently have no treatments, like the rare form of the genetic disease retinitis pigmentosa that occurs with Usher syndrome. Gene editing technology will allow us to treat rare forms of genetic eye disease by correcting a faulty gene in retina cells and make it normal again. To learn more about our research, please visit sira.org.au.